Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching the Neo Limix introduction pack, and yeah, I know it's been a minute, but uh, no time, what can I say? But I've got some time now, so let's go, let's do Deep Freeze. You got a quick peek of this one last time, because my finger got all jumpy and clicked through to the next level while I was trying to wrap up the video, but here it is in all its glory, Deep Freeze, 30 Lemmings, gotta save fully half of them, let's see what's going on, we... We're going, we're making our way uptown. Oh, 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 that's what's so. Okay, so we've got, we've got 22 lemmings here. 22 builders. So this is, this is brute forcing our way to the top. This isn't much of a puzzle. This is just, this is just maneuvering through hitboxes, which is going to serve us best possibly. We may be able to do this with one lemming. Let's let's see if we can work it out. We may need to use blockers to kind of truncate our bridges, like go up three, maybe let them go, do another three. But we don't want to get too crazy with it because too much of an angle between a bridge going up this way and maybe one going up this way could be a recipe for splatification so but first i think i'm gonna make a blocker trap we do have some walkers so we can free crowds as needed so that's actually kind of nice um let's go ahead and yeah get him to near the edge where is unsafe okay yeah we're definitely gonna want to use our clear physics function functioning on this one so we're up here we're right up against it maybe a little Oh no, that's too far back. This is as far as we can go. Here we go. That's as far as you go! <laughs> Alright, a little Birdo impression for you there. Okay, let's go ahead and get 99 going. That's gonna that's gonna leave a a group. Okay. I think that's the farthest out we can get. Definitely wanna be very fine with our bridge building here. So we're going to get a large group, and when we have one do a job, it will separate that one from the rest. So you go ahead and seal up the wall here. Okay, so where is the farthest we can get now? Looks like we can get pretty... Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and start from here. We may be able to cheat this. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and watch you real quick. That's going to slow the game down pretty significantly, so let's not keep it held there. Let's only use it sparingly, as needed. Okay, you're... Okay, so he will get past it successfully. That's nice. But I think I would still like to stretch it out a little. Alright. So we're making our way upwards. I don't think we want to go from wall to wall. Or maybe we do might be advisable to go from wall to wall okay let's okay how much we might be able to take this to the wall i think i a little interested in that as long as we do stretchy bridges okay and we're definitely going to want to frame set i thought this would be a lot messier i thought we'd be wanting to get lemmings going yeah okay now we might, now we might hit up against the, we might hit up against it here. But we may be able to build over it as well. And in fact, maybe stretching it was a mistake because bringing it back would have given me a little more height. So now, no, yeah, no, that works. Okay, yeah. In fact, yeah, I think, I think I want to keep going without stretching the bridges, really. So it's really just knowing where you're, uh. It's really just about knowing where you're... Oh, yeah, see, okay. Did I let him stretch out a little on that one? I think I did. So, go ahead. Alright, yeah. And I think that may make it a little bit... Not well, no. He'll hit, turn around. Yeah, we can spare one bridge for that. I think that's a little better than having the diagonal pixel go through. Okay, so this is a much less intimidating level than it seems. I thought we were going to have to go kind of up through the middle, but using the target areas here seems like you can seems like you can go pretty well between them just using 
one lemming, and that's that's definitely more ideal. In fact, I think I can save everybody in this level, which I was not expecting to be able to do, but we're, we're getting a little bit of that harsh vapor, but it's okay. Now it's just... Now it's just a matter of building to the end and avoiding this trap. Ha ha ha! Ooh, I almost missed that. That would have been... That would have been uh, embarrassing to say the least. So let's go ahead and do it up. See how far up the way I get here. Yeah, it's animated and everything. Okay, how, how far does that get us? Is he gonna... Okay, that's right on the trigger area, so we don't want that. Ooh! Ooh, that was gory. Okay, one more then. One more then for good measure. And then... Okay, make sure you're well over the trigger area. And then we'll just cut you off so we don't risk building into the ceiling or anything. So you all walk to the exit, and then two walkers for you to turn you around. That saves everybody in the level. Very nice. Okay, yeah, that one took a while. That one took a fair minute to do, but it wasn't... It wasn't hard, it's just intimidating. But as long as you use your clear physics, the clear physics function comes in very handy there. So that you are more aware of where you can legally build. I like I liked using it a lot there. It was a very, very good showcase for that particular function. Parkour! Whenever you see it like that, render that way, that is quite clearly... An office reference. 15 lemmings, gotta save them all. And sports is very apropos for this level because parkour is certainly a sport, certainly takes a degree of athleticism. Do we have a blocker? Starting art? Starting art, darn her? Okay, so yeah, it looks like we do. 15 lemmings. A jumper can be used to jump over blockers as well. Makes sense. Also, if a climber happens to jump into a wall, then he will stick to it and begin to climb upwards. I discovered that while I was making levels for Lemmings Level Contest number 22. I wanted to see if that would work, and it did. So that's actually something I learned myself playing around with the editor. On top of that, you can assign a jumper to a currently climbing climber to make him jump away from the wall. I did not know that. That's interesting. Let's train this, and don't forget that if a Lemming falls after a jump, the distance fallen begins to count after the jump. All right, so here we go. That's... We got plenty blocked off here, so you do your jump. Woohoo! Okay, and then you jump. Okay. All right, so let's get you right up to the edge. You're now a climber. Do it. Hit that. There we go. Hit that wall. There we go. All right, so we'll probably use the walker at the end. Okay, and then bam. No, that was too late. Thought I could do it without pausing. But, 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 but. Okay, there we go. That's a bit safer. Okay, so we're going to want to avoid the uh, aggressively bouncing tennis balls. They're no good. Okay, and there we go. There's our safe jump. <laughs> well, that's a neat little function. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep on. Let's watch our arc carefully. There we go. And there you go. All right, so now I think the fall. Let's see. It's going to take some some doing here, okay? I think we're going to want to jump here as well. And then... I think... Is that a legal fall right there? Is that... It looks like he's going to fall and just miss that. I want to see it first, but... Oh, no, he didn't miss the thing, but he still needs to jump. Okay, so there you go. You can go ahead and climb up the wall, little buddy. There we go. Probably same and such like and so forth for the rest of these little bits here. All right, so this is uh, this is being told how to do a thing and doing it. The execution is what's important here. And then we go ahead and bop on over. There we go. And then you'll hit just enough platformers to get to the end. Very nice. Very much. Very much how that level was intended to go, for sure. And then we just set our blocker free. That was an easy one. But that one was also more of a... Kind of a tutorial. Snuck into here. But I get it. Let's jump into the middle of the golf flag. We did it. 15, 15, 15. And 155. Lots of 1s and 5s being lobbed around here. Very nice. Well, looks like we scored under par. So, the Guardian... One lemming and ten neutrals. So one lemming is going to do all the work. Looks like he is over here. 
Uh, he's a climber and also a something else. So it looks like there's two symbols on that door. The neutrals are all over here. And they're going to have to be saved by the the Guardian. That's, a, that's as good a name as any for him. Here we go. Okay, so he is both a climber and a swimmer. And we've got jumpers. Jumpers ahoy. Very nice. So he's already a climber. We know that. So the way we're going to save him here is not by doing that. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Uh, okay, so where's the good jump? There we go. All right. I was worried about the legality of that fall for a second. But let's use our stacker here. That frees him pretty securely. Okay, there we go. And he climbs over it. The rest of them are good to go. So now as long as he gets pretty well ahead of the pack here. Let's see, we've got three bashers. We may be able to handle this pretty well. I'm going to try to do it on the fly and see what happens. They're walking away from him now. Alright, very good. Okay, yeah, he's got plenty of clearance. One builder. Okay. One builder. Okay, here they come. And one platformer. So, I wonder why we have so many jumpers. Okay, so I see here. Okay, I see it. I see it now. Platformer. Platformer for right here. We want to make sure he does not hit up and turn around. That would be bad. Okay. Alright, this gives a little bit of... Alright, let's, let's go to the end with that. Okay, they're coming pretty fast. Hmm. Maybe I would want to put my... St no. The stacker right here, I think, was the right move. A l right here would maybe be a little more secure, but... Okay, so you come here. Alright. So go ahead and try to seal it up. I think they might get past you, though. Yeah, they came on just a little too strong. So, we gotta figure out a way to slow this up. Uh, we don't need the neutrals dying. But once we get this done, we can kind of give him a break. So, should I start all the way over? Let's see. Alright, go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, definitely want to jump from up here. Very good. Where is the absolute first place he starts going? Alright, we're going to see if this is a legal fall. This is a little lower than the other one. Nope, it's good. Okay, so... Alright, let's get going with that. Okay, I don't think they'll walk over that wall. They might, though. It's... Being on an incline like that, that's a little yucky. They might walk over that. Because you can walk over a stacker wall. There's only eight steps in a stacker wall. And you can walk over it at a height of six tiles. So, a stacker wall is just high enough to contain them. So, this might be a disaster. Yep, yep, I actually... Yeah, so let's, let's back that way the heck up. Doing it on an incline is not going to work at all. Alright, so let's just position... No, come on now. All right, let's position it as... Okay, I think that's seven high. That might do it. I think that's as close as I can get and they not walk over it. So this might just be... This might just be a timing exercise. Getting as... There we go. As little bashing as possible, as little stacking as possible. Okay, good. They turned around. So now... Okay, they're coming pretty fast still, but the, the amount of climbing is minimal. Okay, so let's go ahead this time. Where, where's a good spot to build from? Right here seems good. They're coming on fast again. Is there a better way to do... Probably, maybe jumping ahead will help. So if I... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to back uh, way up. I don't think it's necessary for the climber to walk this... To walk down along here. Now that I'm looking at it, a better idea might be to have him jump to here. Yeah, he has a lot more time now. 
and then just platform from right here so he turns around. Very good. Okay. So he has a lot more time to build now. Very nice. Okay. Then we're going to seal that up without turning around. And how is this going to work then? So he's going to go way across the way. And we can get him ahead again. Alright. Once again, probably getting ahead with a jumper. That gives them a lot of time to walk. So I'm going to have him jump and stick to the wall. Your friendly neighborhood spider lemming over here. There we go. No, 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 no. That's too soon. Okay, so... There we go. Very nice. Okay, so he turns around. They walk all down the zigzaggy lane. He's got a lot of time to perform. Okay, so... Let's see. How are we going to do... Okay, yeah. So he's got the time now to go up... So this is about economizing your time, basically. Yeah, there we go. Really quick movements. Lots of jumping. That's why you receive the jumpers. Uh, no, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and cut that off. He does need to climb the wall, I believe. He's already a swimmer, so he can bloop through here. Yeah, he's got plenty of time to bash through the one-way wall. And he kind of needs to do a similar thing. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. They come this way. They've got no blockage. Oh, maybe using the stacker here was a mistake? Oh, gosh. Uh, so they go here. They go up through here. There's no... Is there a pickup skill in the water or anything? No, doesn't appear to be. So what have I done incorrectly? Can't make them jump. They're just neutrals. So was that the wrong place for the stacker? I'm inclined to say no, it wasn't. I think I used every... But you don't really have much of a place for anything else. So you come over here... And jump, jump. Oh, nope, that would be not a great jump, actually. There we go. Just a few frames off I was on that one. So if they're coming along the way... Yeah, you pretty much need to use the stacker here. Is it a matter of just jumping ahead a lot and getting ahead of the crowd? It may be. Because this is the only place... You can't make them do anything. So they would just walk off here and end up going in a circle. That is if they don't splatter right here. So, yeah, I think I've done something wrong. I think I've mostly got the efficiency down, but I think maybe maybe what you want... So I think we have that many jumpers for a reason. Okay, so I think what I may want to do is use him to jump... Okay, and we're going to use the jumpers to start getting ahead of the pack here. There we go. Yeah, okay, that makes somewhat more sense. Okay, so they don't even turn around now, so now I have a free stacker. Alright, and you bought from here to here. Very good. Okay, I was, I was misunderstanding where you needed to use the stacker. But now this is also going to be kind of its own little... I think he'll still seal it up in time. Yeah, from here the level goes on pretty much the way it's supposed to. He's got less time to handle this, but it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty confident we can say we have this one solved. Very good. So now we just turn around right here... Uh, gotta actually, I think one frame back can do it. There we go, yeah. Frame perfect, frame stepping. That's the way to do it. And we continue that journey from here. Another one, and then another one. You just gotta keep on moving quick. Alright, we'll let him go up the wall there wonder if we can turn around okay 
wonder if we can turn around at the end of this tunnel here. It may not even be necessary for him to be a swimmer. Like, if we bop here... No, that's a, that's a waste of a jumper. Thought he might turn around if he hit his head. But that was not the case. So now, yeah. This is, uh... Yeah, he builds his stacker wall. They're kind of contained in there until he can get through that. He climbs over the stacker wall. They finish. Very... Okay, okay. Very nice. Okay, so you just gotta use your jumpers to get ahead of the crowd. That's... That's kind of novel, I would say. There we go. Now they're all kind of crowded up in there. The neutrals just kind of slowly milling about. Not feeling really one way or the other about this. They're just kind of wanting to go home. Those neutrals. Not willing to... Not real, willing to work for a day's... For a day's food and board. They just... They just want to do their own thing. They don't care... They don't care who they have to make work. As a lemming does not work, neither shall he eat. That's what I say. Uh, I guess that's kind of a hardline stance, but you know what? I'm kind of a hardline guy. And that's what I say. Neutrals, you need to step it up. You need to put on some, some, uh, some more colorful clothes. And you need to step up and you need to do something for your fellow lemmings. Neutrals have been mooching for far too long, and I, for one, am pretty upset about it, let me tell you.